Hello everyone and welcome to the João Almeida Pro Cyclist Mode here on PCM and welcome to the last week of the Giro d'Italia, that is right, after the fantastic two weeks that we have, we now face the last week and it's going to be a brutal week really, so let's just take a look on the stages that we have, starting on stage 16, a mountain stage with a special category climb on it and again it's, it's for the, the pure climbers of course but uh, that's not all of it because stage 17 another big mountain stage he ends on a uphill section a mountain basically and uh, then stage 18 uh, it is a soft stage it is a stage for the sprinter the last opportunity for the sprinters to shine and on stage 19 once again a big mountain stage we have basically the final climb that is very big and important and before that some minor climbs and then on stage 20 again the last stage of mountain a big big mountain they really maybe the queen stage i don't know yet as you can see a lot of big mountains and it's going to be crucial for the general classification and then of course the last stage it is a time trial of 16 kilometers so nothing that big but uh, it will make a difference i hope but we'll see as you can see four mountain stage on this last week it's very brutal really Let's see if Shuamaida can hang on with the best. And uh, let's go right away for stage 16 and uh, see what can Shuamaida do. And so guys, here we are, start of the first climb of the day, the special category climb. And by the profile, as we can see right here, it's very difficult climb, but the peloton is all together. So let's see what is going to happen. And here we are on the last kilometer of the climb and as you can see my teammates are all decimated really, they are all out of energy, João Maida is all alone, just Matia Cataneo in the group in the front, so yeah, so far it's not looking good for us because we are alone already and we still have one or two climbs to go, so yeah, let's see what is going to happen next, but so far the pellet we are with the best, so that's what's matter of course and João Maida with a plus four, it's a good thing. And so guys, here we are now for the first kite climb. it is the Paso de Mortirol, so let's go right away into the front of the peloton because we need to get a good position here on the group to not get caught by the attacks, but I'm getting blocked right now, come on João, do not lose the contact, please, come on, let's go to the front because we need to get a very good position here, that's all I want, I don't want to lose the train and I don't want to lose any attacks because... I know that I have a plus 4 but that's not enough so yeah let's see what's going to happen on this climb as we are over and so guys the start of the attacks Mikalanda is attacking and everybody else is responding to that now it's Pogacar time to respond I need to respond to that but again I'm a bit late on the response so yeah I'm right now I'm behind and I'm with Carapaz so maybe I will not attack that much although Let's just try to rejoin them, but yeah, I think my goal is just let the other do the work because I don't have any teammates and uh, of course Ineos team has some teammates and they, they, they can do the job for the next climbs if more attacks are, are going to happen or not. We are still a bit away from the summit and now it is Summonator is attacking, Mikaland is responding, everybody else is responding of course, let's see is Pogacar going to attack or not. I'm attacking and I don't know why the hell am I attacking, I just said I didn't want to do that and I just didn't, but because of that I'm getting out of energy, so again let's just let the other teams work and try to stay here because we are getting out of energy and this is not good, we are still far away from the summit, we are still a few kilometers away and this is not looking good for us right now. And so guys, Pogacar now is attacking and I cannot respond to that, I don't have the energy to do that. Carapaz now is putting a rhythm, let's try to stay with him, but it's not looking good for us. I'm out of energy, I'm losing all of my energy, this is not good at all. And you are still a bit behind in terms of reaching the summit. I'm now on the wheel of Carapaz, but this is it, let's just use the aerodynamic position not to lose too much time. But I lose the contact with Carapaz. As we see we are one kilometer away and thankfully uh, it seems that they are stopping in the front with the pace so I'm going to rejoin them but still I'm without of energy this is not looking good for us right now. 
let's just try to stay here try to regain the energy and we have a downhill so let's see if this is going to be good or not and so guys we are almost on the last five kilometers of the stage and there's been a lot of attacks but nobody got away and now Nibali is attacking once again so yeah there's been a lot of attacks I'm here with the peloton because I regained the energy on the downhill section and I'm just responding to all the attacks that are occurring but nobody got away and I'm responding to this one once again I don't know why but yeah because Nibali and Pinot are not a danger so let's just now put a pace ourselves we have some energy see if I can do some damage here but it seems that I cannot do that and in the front Giulio Ciccone is the winner of the stage so yeah the breakaway of course is the winner and we are on the last two kilometers some attacks by Pino and Sergio Higuita and now the Ineos guy is following that we are on the last kilometer now so we have to sprint we don't have the much energy but let's start the sprint as well and uh, Sergio Higuita is in the front and Carapaz very easily just passed by us and is ahead of us so he's going to finish ahead of us let's hope that we do not lose seconds but we'll see as we finish on the 11th position on the as we finish on the 12th position and so guys in the end we lost some seconds to Carapaz I cannot believe that but as you can see we lost six seconds to him because there was a little gap in the end the game counted the dead gap so yeah we lost some precious seconds really not that much but still it's an advantage that we 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 need to be careful and now for stage 17 another big stage it finishes up here as you can see so basically the last part of the stage is the most important but that uh, two climbs before that are important as well so let's see what is going to happen and so guys we are on the last 25 kilometers of the stage we are reaching the last part of the stage that this climb and uh, once again I'm just with Mattia Catanel so not the best possibilities for us in terms of having teammates with us but that is okay we have a plus today not the best as well but yeah let's see what's going to happen with Joao Maida and so guys now the peloton is accelerating Sergei Gita in the front I don't know if he's attacking or not but yeah we are on the last 14 kilometers of the stage still we have a lot of climbing to do let's get into the front of the peloton so we don't get dropped and uh, stay awake for any attacks and so guys now final five kilometers and Tadeo Pogacar is attacking so we need to do something about that of course let's try to get to the front with an attack of course but the yeah, Pogacar is on the front right now with some seconds Thibaut Pinot is trying to catch him I, I believe but yeah let's try to stay here with the group as he's been caught I, I think and now Joao Maida what are you behind come on man don't lose the contact please and yeah I, I just need to get more focus in terms of responding to the attacks because I'm not doing that and I think Pogacar is going away because the FDJ guys start stop the work and therefore is, is going away Pogacar so oh my god we need to do something but I don't have the energy to do it so I just all I can do is stay here with the peloton but yeah Pogacar is in the front right now it is not good of course the rhythm here is very high on the peloton as we are reaching the last the last kilometer of the stage so yeah come on Joao we don't have much energy left but let's start the sprint and see what can we do and again Carapaz with a big sprint just let's hope he doesn't get more seconds on us because Pogacar have some seconds on us and that is not good and so guys now for stage 18 it is a more relaxed stage with a stage for the sprinters the last opportunity for the sprinters really and yeah so far we are not having the best uh, week on the Giro and uh, let's hope that we can turn things around because we need to we are losing some time and not, I'm not liking that so let's use this stage to recover some energy and uh, use them on the last two mountain days and so here we are on the last five kilometers of the stage and uh, let's see who is the sprinter that is going to win today I'm at the wheel of Sam Bennett as always and uh, let's see if he can get a good placement here for the sprint I think he's on the wheel of Sagan yeah that is right he's on the wheel of Sagan 
and I think once again Bora is going to launch Ackerman because he's the better one and here he goes last kilometer Bennett is attacking Bennett is sprinting alongside Ackerman who is going to be the winner and it is Sam Bennett the winner this time ahead of Pascal Ackerman and Matteo Moschetti from Trek Segafredo what a win by Sam Bennett really that was a powerful sprint and yeah guys after that amazing sprint from Sam Bennett we have now the stage 19 a big climb in the finish and it's getting very difficult really let's see if Shaw Maida can hang on with the best and do not lose too much time really because I won that second position and so guys here we are on the last kilometer of the first climb of this stage and so far everything is alright so we are with the peloton some of my guys are without of energy but that is okay I still have some of them with me Matteo Cataneo and Ballerini are the best guys so far and yeah let's see what's going to happen on the next climb and on the last one as well and so guys by my surprise everyone is together here for the final kilometer so I just put a train with my team because they have the energy and let's see if that is worth or not but right now Pogacar is attacking oh my god come on guys I need to respond to that my teammates have the energy and they are here for that respond to the attacks as we are entering the last five kilometers and Stimmel doing a fantastic job now it's time for Nikita to do the work and catch Pogacar we don't want him to go away of course and yeah so far so good my teammates are doing the job just pouring a rhythm and uh, João Almeida is looking good as well and in the front Thies Benut is attacking and is he going for the win I don't know I can't see nothing but yeah I have four guys Pogacar is going to the front once again so let's just up the tempo a little bit more to prevent any attacks with Ballerini but right now Ballerini is getting behind come on come on guys to the front please I need to go to the front because it seems Carapaz now is attacking oh my god then the win is for Thies Benut from the breakaway but that doesn't matter now Carapaz is putting a rhythm in the front with his teammates so come on it's time for Mattia Catanel to enter to the job because he's the best man for me come on Catanel please a little further the group because as you can see Carapaz and Pogacar are right in the front I need to go to there as well as we are entering the last kilometer and uh, we are all together still but uh, the, the sprints are going to, to come of course so let's just put a pace ourselves and maybe just go 99 see if that is enough and Carapaz once again with this sprint capability is ahead of everybody else here in the group so let's see if we are going to lose time or not hopefully not but I, I'm, I'm not sure really as we are here behind Pogacar at tw 20 positions so I don't know and so guys the win is for Thies Benut from the breakaway Pelbio Ball second place Stuart Chiconi third and Carapaz on the 12th position so and we lost time once again oh my god as you can see we lost some time for Carapaz and Pogacar and this is not good again we lost some time on the mountains and the little by little we can losing a lot of time and that is not okay of course we still have one more stage of mountains let's see what's going to happen there and so guys we are on the last kilometer or the first climb of the stage and already I don't have any teammates with me they are all out of energy I just have as always Mattia Cataneo and David Ballarini with a plus four days so yeah Joao Maida with the plus two is not the best as always I want more but let's see what's going to happen on the next climbs and so guys we are already on the second climb we are already one kilometer away from the summit and once again the pace is not that slow because I just had Mattia Catania with me right now and he's getting out of energy Joao Maida still with a bit of energy of course but yeah we are losing teammates and we are not even on the halfway through the stage it's getting difficult for Joao Maida but let's see what's going to happen and so guys once again now we are on the summit of the third climb and Davide Ballarini enter the peloton but he's out of energy again but yeah it's, it shows that the peloton is with the rhythm a bit slower this time which is great of course Joao Maida with all of this yellow energy so we have some energy that 
is great of course and uh, now we have a big downhill where we can rest for the last two climbs of the day and so guys we are on the second category climb and now Pogachar is attacking Pogachar is going on the attack I need to respond to that once again but I'm very far behind and Samanitz and Pogachar are attacking but of course and thankfully the other teams are responding to their attacks and they are catching them up which is good so come on John let's go a bit further into the peloton because I need to get in the wheel of Pogachar of course but yeah now it is Sivakov that is attacking the ninth place but that doesn't matter what matters is Pogachar and Carapaz that's the one that I more focus on and that's the one I need to be careful and so guys here we are on the summit of the climb almost and the uh, yeah 10 kilometers to go but now it is Pogachar and Carapaz attacking oh my god I'm getting out of energy but I need to respond to that of course so come on Joao Maida. we are on the summit of the second category climb I just need to catch them and hopefully regain the energy on the downhill because we needed some energy for that last climb of the Giro and uh, yeah we are with the group so far I hope that we can regain the energy and I just use the energy gel as well I don't know if that's the smartest option and yeah guys here we are last climb of the Giro Joao Maida out of energy last 5 kilometers and the Pogachar and Carapaz are attacking once again oh my god no this is not happening Joao Maida Joao Maida does not have the energy I cannot respond to that I just need to put a rhythm but I'm out of energy I don't have the energy gel and uh, I'm getting behind oh my god no and here we are on the last kilometer and I think Carapaz is in the front I don't know about Pogachar, but yeah Joao Maida very far behind this is the this is the day that we are going to lose our second position and I think it is Carapaz yes Carapaz is the winner oh my god once again I just messed up with the cameras I'm sorry about that but Pino and Simon Yates arrived with Carapaz Pogachar after and here we are Joao Maida come on let's go to the finish line and no oh my god we are losing 2 minutes and 20 almost that's a lot really and so guys in the end Carapaz is the winner of the Giro and of the stage Pogacar lost 40 something seconds and Joao Maida 2 minutes it is a lot really let's see on the Giro classification and we just lost our second position by 20 seconds to Tadeo Pogacar oh my god really this is a bit sad I was hoping to get that second position overall but right now we are third and so guys we are with the last stage of the Giro this is the last opportunity to make some changes I don't know if this is enough to to gain time but let's try that let's try that of course and let's see if Joao Maida is on a perfect day and Pogacar is on a bad day because I just need 20 seconds that's all I need really come on Joao and here we are guys Joao Maida is on the road for the last stage of the Giro d'Italia and we only have a plus today I was hoping for more really and here we are reaching the first checkpoint of the stage let's see what Joao Maida is doing so far he's looking good in terms of energy and this is it he's crossing the line of checkpoint and we are losing 24 seconds that is a bit for me I believe this is not good but yeah we are already now on the downhill last 5 kilometers and this is a big downhill really so let's up the tempo a little bit come on Joao I just need 20 seconds from Pogacar really and uh, we are already on the last 3 kilometers almost and I have a lot of energy so let's put the tempo very high because of course we have energy to spend come on Joao one and a half kilometers to go and I still have a lot of energy maybe I just saved too much energy let's put on 99 and yeah I just saved too many energy I believe as we can see we are crossing the line right now with so much energy to spend and we lost 14 seconds to Simon Yates let's see now Tadeo Pogacar is arriving and he's losing 16 seconds so we just gained 2 seconds on Pogacar so yeah we lost our second position to Tadeo Pogacar and as you can see Simon Yates is the winner of this time trial 
and we just gained two seconds. That was enough. That wasn't enough, really. And Carapaz is the big winner of this Giro, of course, ahead of all of the other guys by a big lead. But yeah, guys, that is very bittersweet for us. That second place, uh, I thought that it was ours, but in the end, it wasn't. And uh, Lawrence de Plus is the winner on the Clamber classification. Sam Bennett from our team is the winner of the points classification, which is awesome. And Joan Maidon a third place is good, as always. And of course, 18 seconds. Tadeo Pogacar is the winner on the white jersey and oh my god really these last few stages was not the best really but hey we just completed our first grand tour and we did our objectives really a third place on a first tour that is amazing really third place on the points second place on white jersey I mean I cannot be more proud than this really this was the best thing that happened to us on this Giro I was not expecting this by far really, but yeah, that second place was on our pocket and this last week just just was not good enough for us and we need to work better on the mountains because and work better on the strategy because we could have secured that second place easily but we didn't do that and yeah. But nonetheless, it was a very, very good Giro d'Italia really, I'm very happy. And yeah guys, don't forget smash that like button because this is worth it to smash the like button, subscribe, stay safe, bye bye.